top ministers of the Tinubu led administration have appeared before the National Assembly to give account of the current economic climate as they reassure Nigerians that measures are in place to tackle the high cost of living in the country. The governor of the Central Bank of Niger, Olayemi Kadoso, and the chairman of the Federal Inner Revenue Service, Zak Adedeji, were also part of the team that briefed the House of Representatives on the growing concerns on the impact of inflation on Nigerians. The report. The rising cost of living has been a major concern for most Nigerian households, impacting their financial well-being. The surge in living costs is linked to several factors, including rising housing prices, agricultural produce, escalating education and healthcare expenses, and income inequalities. During the sectoral debate at the Green Chamber of the National Assembly, President Tinubu's economic team highlighted that the current state of the country is a consequence of cumulative economic policies over the years, leading to increased living expenses due to inflation. Minister of Finance emphasized that, with improvements, various sectors will stimulate economic growth. So when you attack food production, raise food production, you bring down uh, the price of food, you bring down inflation, you get a chance to bring down interest rates, and there lies the road to investment. Minister of Budget and National Planning, Atiku Bagudu, addressing the state of economy, affirmed that ongoing economic challenges have been thoroughly assessed and a strategic plan is in place to effectively resolve them. We reckon with global challenges that are impacting us domestically and we reckon with the uh, transitional nature of some of the measures that we have, been, we have taken. And we know that they will have some impact. During his remarks, the APIS bank boss, Yemi Kadoso, emphasized that despite ongoing efforts, the high cost of living remains a significant concern. He highlighted the Central Bank of Nigeria's commitment to implementing lasting solutions and reducing inflation to 21.4% through enhanced agriculture productivity. Kadoso also noted that market transactions exceeded $800 million and to mitigate exchange rate volatility, the CBN plans to enhance liquidity. Inflation pressures may persist, albeit temporarily, but are expected to moderate significantly by the first, fourth quarter of 2024. Exchange rate pressures are also expected to reduce with a smooth functioning of foreign exchange markets. Zach Adedeji, the executive chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, assured the public that the federal government does not intend to raise taxes. Instead, they aim to strategize in ways that would generate positive and more effective results. That what we need to do is to re-strategize within to make sure that uh, we bring more people into tax net. So without increasing the tax rate, that will be able to meet the targets. Deputy Speaker Benjamin Kalu stressed the importance of acknowledging the urgency and significance of the agenda at hand. He emphasized the need to address the stark realities of the economic, fiscal and the revenue challenges confronting the country. The reform we envisage should not only address the immediate needs, but also lay a you know, foundation that is resilient with a dynamic framework that can adapt to future challenges and opportunities. By implementing the strategies outlined by the ministers, there's an expectation that the action plans will alleviate the negative impact of the high cost of living on individuals and families. Staying in the National Assembly, the House of Representatives has expressed deep concern over the rising cost of living, urging immediate action from the federal government and all stakeholders to alleviate the economic hardship in the country. The House appeals for the urgent opening of the National Food Reserve and suggests exploring the importation of grains, poultry products, healthcare and pharmaceuticals from leading exporting countries as a short-term solution. 
This call comes in response to a motion of urgent national importance moved by Honorable Ibrahim Isiaka, emphasizing the need to boost food production, improve distribution, and ensure access to fertilizer and crop diversification. Additionally, the motion appeals to manufacturers, producers, middlemen, and sellers to exercise fairness and realism in pricing of goods and services while urging them to consider the impact on consumers. The crisis is potentially fueling instability as uh, witnessed in some parts of the country yesterday, specifically in MENA, Niger State. Strong and swift policy action is needed to mitigate the food crisis, cost of standard living and human suffering. There must be conducive environment created by government for to encourage diaspora remittances and investment by investors from within and outside the country. And that is only possible if we have serious security measures on ground. A lot needs to be done. As a government, we derive our sovereignty from the people, but the same people who gave us that sovereignty are impoverished, they are living in poverty, they are living in penury. The people are sad, the country is not happy.